Hello, Aldo Figueroa here. In this video, we are going to explore working with NURBS geometry. We're going to start off with examining first NURBS cur curves. Uh, what I'm going to do here, uh, I have a scene within Maya, and I'm going to focus first on my front view. Uh, I want a 2D view, so I'm using my front view, and we are going to go into the create menu, and I'm going to use a curve tool, and I want to use the curve um, CV curve tool. The way that this tool works is I'm going to go ahead and put a point right here. Click. Our first point that we put is always going to be a box. This is indication that this is our first point. Now the second point that we put down, it's going to be a U shape. Uh, this is giving us the UV coordinate space. It's a 2D uh, space. Uh, but since this is a curve, it only has one direction. It's only going to have U. And you'll see this uh, in, in the near future. I'm going to now go ahead and put another point right here. And in order to get our path, right now we only have three points. We need to have at least four points. Now, before I put my next point, I want to point out that what we have, this is a control vertice or a CV. Here's a, the second one, the third, and the lines that connect between these uh, CVs, these are called hulls. I'm going to put another point right here, and you'll notice two things happened. Uh, the first is that it connected the this last point to the previous control vertice, and now we have our path that goes through them. I'm going to go ahead and just click right here, and I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to press Enter. Now this I now created is my curve one. And this is considered an open curve, simply because the first point and the last point should not connect. I'm going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to go to control vertex. And here we can see the vertices that were used to create this shape. If I use the move tool and I click on one of these points, you can see that this control vertice kind of acts like a weight. It is pushing or pulling the surface, depending on the placement of the control vertice next to the line. If I put these all close to one another, you can see that they appear as if they're on the same line. Uh, but these are more, consider these more as weights instead of actually relying or being on the surface of your path. If I right mouse click, and go to edit points. Now these points actually do reside on the path, but what happens if, when you try to move these is that as a result of moving this edit point, it is, if we switch back to our control vertex, changing the placement of our CVs. If I right mouse click and go to holes, it's gonna show you the connections of how they're being connected. And you can see here are my CVs. And then lastly, you have these curve points, which depending on certain uh, commands, you put a point. And if you want to say, for example, if I want to cut this here, uh, I use the uh, curve points. I'm going to go back to object mode. Uh, what I want to do, I'm going to go back and create uh, I'm going to use a CV curve tool to create another curve because this time what I want to do is I want to put some points, but this time what I want to do, I actually want these two points to close. So I'm just going to put them right here. I'm going to press enter and you can see that as I zoom in, you can tell that it's open. I'm going to right mouse click, go to control vertex. I'm going to click on this point and I could just move it close. This isn't close it. There's a command. Uh, what you could also do, there is up here in the snaps menu, there is uh, this, one, this button right here, which is snap to point. So if I click on this one, you can see I could snap right there to that point. So I'm going to uncheck it where you can see I can move it freely. I go back right here, snap to point, it snaps to that point. And simply because I snap to that point does not mean that this path is closed. It's still open. Uh, 
to close this path, which is going to be really helpful in our um, in an upcoming uh, video. Uh, I want to go to curves, and there is an open close option box. I'm going to click on this option. My suggestion is that you you open up these options and you go through each one of them: ignore, preserve, or blend. I'm going to tell it to ignore and tell it to apply, and you can see that. There's a little bit of change that happened right here. I'm gonna undo Command or Control Z. Let's check out Preserve. Apply, it's similar, undo or blend. Apply, that's too much, undo. So either ignore or preserve gave me the um, best results. I'm gonna tell it to ignore. And the difference between heading open close and apply, this one, when I press this one, it's going to apply apply that command, then close this option box. As you notice, apply just applies it, but leaves this op option box open. And close just closes the window. I'm gonna tell it open and close. And now this is a closed uh, path. I'm gonna go to control vertices. Uh, things that I wanna point out, you can see that right here, if I click on this one, you can see what if I move one point, you can see that this line is now closed before I would have a gap. But since this is a box, this is my first point, and you can see that this path is going clockwise. It's going in this from left to right. There are instances where you might need to reverse your curve direction. In this case, I'm going to right mouse click, object box. I'm going to select this, this shape. Under curves, at the towards the bottom, reverse direction. Uh, there's not many options. <laughs> there's not really any options except to keep the original. I'm going to tell it to reverse. And now when I right, right mouse click on it and click control vertices, you're going to see that now the box is right here and it's now going to U, which is now going counterclockwise. Depending on what you're doing, you might need to reverse this. But this is a quick demonstration of creating nerves, curves. We will be using these curves in an upcoming video so to create other shapes. So I will re be referring back to this video to show you how to create your, your own nerves curves. Uh, but for right now, the next video, we are going to go uh, into exploring uh, nerves geometry. Now, one thing that I do want to mention that before we go is that with these curves that we're creating, uh, though this is a nerves, you are able to uh, use this path to create NURBS geometry or even output uh, polygon geometry. And we'll see that in a future video. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.